Hey everyone, it's awesome to be here. So my name is Nicholas. I'm the founder of Infinita. That's a VC fund that's based in Prospera. I live there. And today I want to talk about how we want to do a bio-acceleration zone, and specifically the legal and infrastructure layer for it. But first I want to tell you a story. So what is Balaji's favorite three-letter agency? The FDA, exactly. So this is the story of how I learned how the sausage is made. True story. So I wanted to start a healthcare analytics company. And I always do a lot of customer research before. So I talked to this German guy who was doing regulatory content management. And he was this family business guy where there's these German medium-sized companies that have like a monopoly in a super specific niche. That's what they did. And I was like, what's that? That looks like a, you know, doc send for, you know, regulatory compliance. But I said, not entirely, a little bit of that, but we're actually a logistics company. So what do you mean, a logistics company? We track truckloads. Like literal truckloads of paper. I was like, what? Physical paper? Like, yeah, we deliver that and we track that and we offer that as a service. It's like, what? So if you're a brilliant bioscientist engineer and you know you can code up you know a new drug, small molecule, vaccine on a computer, and then you have to do this. Yeah. I mean, no wonder that's what happens. <laughs> Right, so we have two major problems in biotech. One is the value of death, which is like a funding in the early stages, and then Irum's law. So Irum's law is the reverse of Moore's law. So at the same time as the rate of computing power went up, the rate of new drug development went down. And it's not inevitable. Until 1963, the FDA had to approve a drug in three months. Otherwise, you were allowed to go on the market. It's crazy, right? And that's a problem, because we now have very promising science and technology that could allow us to live for much longer, potentially reaching longevity escape velocity, as Aubrey de Grey has called it. I want that. I don't know about you guys. So can't we back to like pre-1962 times? Can't we build like a more rational legal and regulatory system? And yeah, we can. So I live in Prospera. Really good location. This is an aerial view that shows you how much there is, how much space there is to build. And Prosper instituted this thing here. So a polycentric common law system. So the idea is um, you, need to, you should have liability insurance, otherwise you have strong penalties. So the insurance effectively becomes your regulator. They don't want you to mess up, otherwise you, they have to pay. But they also don't want you to go out of business. So they have the best incentive to give you good regulation that's safe while you can stay innovative. I think it's a brilliant idea. And one company that's building off of that legal template is this one, Minicircle. They did follistatin gene therapy clinical trials under, with an IRB, under the supervision of an American clinic. So it's FDA compliant. It's just massively reducing the cost of bureaucracy and also just making it much faster, which is really the important part for early stage biotech. Not only that, they can bring people there to take the drug. The, one of their first patients was this man, Brian Johnson, with the major longevity influences. This shows you what potential there is if he comes for that already. Also, another entrepreneur named Greg Nakagawa is building more infrastructure around it and a pristine generative medicine hub. For, so we can have hundreds of companies that can do clinical trials there and medical tourism. So it needs a lot of technical stuff. We want to do like a voluntary certificatory FDA, for example, a fractional usage clinic. And this is the space where we're doing it. I mean, isn't this gorgeous? <laughs> right? I, I would want to come here to get like the most advanced longevity treatments. And my co-founder Lawrence will talk a bit more about it. We're now doing another Zuzalu there for two months with bio scientists and entrepreneurs that want to help us accelerate longevity. Long live Italia, let's live forever, and um, you know, up and, up and go. 